morning, uh, everyone. I'm uh, Alessandro Vanini, product manager of uh, BTS. And today I'm here with the professor Javier Martinez di Ramache of the University Cardinal Herrera di Valencia. Uh, hi, Javier. Thanks to be here uh, and thanks to your collaboration. Okay, thank you very much, Alessandro. Uh, welcome to the webinar about the run analysis with GWALK and the run protocol. And my name is Professor Javier Martinez Ramage, and I am coordinator at the research laboratory in motion analysis at the University CEU Cardinal Herrera in Valencia, Spain. GWALK is a, a small inertial sensor composite of three parts accelerometer, gyroscope, and a triaxial magnetometer. The sensor is placed uh, exactly in E1 with a Velcro elastic belt. We have experience in different files with the use of the G-Walk. In research, we have used the sensor as a tool to check the paratriathlete's run in a project in collaboration with Agitas Foundation International Trial on Union and BTS Engineering. The project was titled the Paratrial Evidence-Based Classification System, and it allowed it to create the classification system in paratriathlon to be Paralympic sport in the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. As an example about the use of G-Walk in this project, you can see two athletes in the same sport class, uh, BTS5. But we need to know if exist or not differences between them during running because, because one of them use a prosthesis leg and the other uh, not. With the sensor, we can know the symmetry index during running according to the accelerometer and compare them with the able body athletes if this difference is significant or not. In this file, also, we have worked in two doctoral theses to establish the reliability of the G-Walk and the reference data according to the spatial temporal parameters and pelvis kinematic during running at the RAM protocol. These academic works are available in these links. In this file, we have to use the, the, the sensor in, in teaching especially we have used the G-Walk and innovation teaching project in a physiotherapy students at the university titled prevention and promotion of health through exercise in the clinical area we are using the G-Walk in combination with free and g during walk and their own analysis at the research laboratory in motion analysis but what kind of information show us the G-Walk at RAM protocol? This is the results report and it's divided into three parts. The first part is according to the information of the patients and the parameters of the trial as analysis duration, running distance, cadence, stride length, run cycle duration, symmetry index and the special temporal parameters as stance and swing phase duration, float phase duration and the propulsion speed, in this case, for each lower limb. The system gives us the same information about the spatial temporal parameters, but expressed in graphs. The second part of the report is according to the accelerometer graphs to know the symmetry index during running. The red graphs uh, representing the average of the left stride according to the vertical component of the acceleration and green graph representing the right side. This kind of graphs allow us, for example, how is the contact of the foot with the floor. In this image representing the hill streak running and the match down representing the forefoot foot running. Observe the differences between the graphs during the stance phase. 
The third part of the report is about the pelvis kinematic data during running. The graphs show us uh, the reference wave in gray color, is this, according uh, tilt, obliquity, and pelvic rotation. And in different color appear the kinematic wave of the athlete. In 2017, we carry out a research to establish the reference data for the RAM protocol with the G-Walk. The results allow us to know the spatial temporal parameters for men and women and the kinematic pelvis movement during running, specifically in this protocol. Now, I will explain uh, an example uh, of the strategies of biomechanical compensation during running when there is an asymmetry between lower limb use and the G-Walk in the case of a triathlete. The athlete has pain in her uh, left hip during running, and she has got her right femur 0.88 millimeters shorter than the left femur. She has got left ilium in a posterior position and right ilium in an anterior position. On the other side, both knees are non-alinear in the frontal plane. According to the results of the G-Walk, the spatial temporal parameters are right, but exist a small differences during propulsion speed being lower at the right foot due to the overpronation during loading response. According to the pelvic kinematic during a stance phase, her pelvis is in tilt posterior when the foot, when the, when the left foot is in contact with the floor. Most probably, uh, her left ilium is blocked and not allow the tilt anterior during this phase. During loading response, the right foot increases the pronation and consequently the pelvis rise little in obliquity and it externally externally rotated very quickly due to the shorter length of the right femur. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Thanks. Thank you, Javier, for your very professional and beautiful presentation. I want to thank you also for your collaboration. And I want to thank you all to attend this webinar. See you very soon at the next webinar. Thank you again. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you.